Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to tell you something very exciting and it is all about GPT-4 VO. So I am sure you must have seen this blog post from OpenAI where it is saying hello GPT-4 O where O is for Omni and this is the new model which was revealed yesterday and what they are saying is it is one step closer to human computer interaction. So in earlier models we have seen that those were either taking text or they were taking audio or image as an input. But this particular model is going to take the combination of all of these. So you can provide text, audio, image, video, everything as a combination and just play with the model. So if you are giving like the combination you can also expect the output in the same combination as well so you are free to go and you can do the video chat you can do audio chat you can uh, send your images you can ask questions and the most important and the thing which impressed me is the response time so here you can see it can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds which is very close to human response time and there are lot many fascinating videos over here so you can just go through it i'm not going to play but these are available on open ai's portal so definitely you can go and check it out the one thing which i want to show you is this particular post so like it is already announced or released by the open ai but the same thing we can do it with microsoft's ai studio as well so now it is available on azure open ai studio if you want to experiment it, if you want to just get a gist of what this is all about, you can definitely go and check that out. So what they're saying is right now it is still available only in the preview playground. It means there are no APIs or no SDKs in using which you can go ahead and experiment it. But you can just go check it out in the preview playground and make sure that you are referring to the proper region because right now it is available only in the two regions. So these are the more statistics or data if you want you can just explore. What I'm going to show you is how to get started with this in our AI studio. So I have already created a resource of Azure OpenAI which is this one. So I'm going to go to my Azure OpenAI studio and as soon as you will open it you will see the very first icon. Let's Give it a few seconds to load. It's taking more time than usual. Let's give it a few more seconds. Okay, here you can see the very first link, which is Early Access Playground. So just click on it. And here you can see that on the right hand side, model is shown as GPT. Uh, 4.0 preview. So this is the one which we need to select. Here you can select your template, whatever you want. I'm just going with the default or you can select any template which works for you. Here you can provide the system message. As like I said, it is still in preview and still uh, like not yet fully released uh, with respect to the API. So you cannot send a lot many messages. I believe it's just 10 messages every five minutes. So be careful when you are experimenting with it. So I can just say, let's do some casual chat over here. So I'm saying hi and you can see how fast we got the response. So how are you doing today? And this is the speed you can see so let me quickly try this with one image so this is the picture i'm having i will just copy it and will ask some question related to this what this image all about so if you have seen my earlier videos wherein I, we were experimenting with gpt4 vision things were taking lot much of time and now as soon as i just clicked on this button you can see that we are having the response ready and it is giving very very perfect response so it is saying these are the three key objectives of any organization as you can train and employ as well as it is all also talking about the icon we have used and what is the actual mission so this is how fast how accurate this is and i hope you 
would definitely would like to try out this so right now we cannot do much with it but i believe in next few days we should have something more in the playground and we should be able to do all kind of like experiments so until we get something more on it let's stick to this and give it a try i hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching